Today I'm in a beautiful little garden created by my Aunt Ja, who is from Thailand. She has all kinds of plants here that I am not familiar with and quite a few that I am familiar with. However, uh, I asked her for the name of a lot of them and she knows them in Thai. She doesn't know the Latin name or the common English names, so I can't really share all the names with you. So if you recognize any of these vegetables, drop me a comment. There's some basil here and uh, stevia. This looks like a... Yep, this is a katuk, or sweet leaf. This is an excellent vegetable. She's got quite a collection of basil and herbs. She uses them medicinally and she uses them for cooking. There's a little avocado right there. Mint. The ground here is very poor, as you can see. So she grows some of the more needy plants in uh, kiddie pools and in pots. It gives them a little more humus. This is a uh, kind of an interesting plant. This is in the nightshade family. As you can tell, it looks kind of like tropical soda apple, but it's not. Also looks like naranjilla. But these little fruits here are edible. I don't exactly know how. They're like a tiny little eggplant. Down here she's got a papaya. Some beautiful tomatoes. See the little tomato down there. They look like the little Everglades cherry tomato types. Just got different things in here like garlic and shallots. Surinam purslane, Talinum fruticosum. Not exactly sure what these guys are. There's some uh, more something in the Allium family, probably a garlic and uh, alongside them this is uh, water spinach which is a really great tasting vegetable also called kang kong this is the kaffir lime which you just use the leaves for seasoning it's a very interesting citrusy flavor very distinct leaf you can see that's divided in the middle Pineapples here, some lemongrass over here, and as you can see behind the lemongrass, look at that beautiful papaya. It's a banana. Now she told me what this is. I don't remember, but they use it as a vegetable. Here's another beautiful papaya. See the multi-headed. Look at all those trunks. It's papayas on every trunk. There's one of our native anoles here. Very happy to be in a little backyard garden, obviously. Now this was kind of cool. Here's another one of these limes, but what I'm talking about is these pineapples. You see how tight she's planted these? She grows pineapples back here. She takes all the tops and sticks them back here in this corner. There's a banana in there too. This is beautiful. Now in Thai cuisine, a lot of the times the papaya are actually eaten green. We've had some green papaya salad that Ja has made and it is fantastic. Speaking of fantastic, this is Piper Low Lot, which is a cousin of black pepper. It's a marvelous seasoning. It's got a very interesting flavor. It's I can't even describe the flavor, but fascinating. Uh, very good kind of a middle flavor that you can add to meat dishes and soups and stews. This is pandan leaf, which has an amazing flavor to it too. Another lime. Now these these leaves on this thing, they'll sell for a dollar a leaf for cooking. It's quite a rare citrus. Over here she has turmeric. All that turmeric. It's very easy to grow. And there's gingers right here, which is a ginger-like turmeric, but this is Thai cooking ginger, which has a really nice spicy sweet flavor to it. Check this out. 
There's a papaya for you. Awesome. Over here she's germinating some coconuts. Isn't that beautiful? Coconuts, you pretty much just bury them on their side, let them sit for a while. As long as they stay oriented the same way, uh, they tend to germinate about a year or more. They grow pretty quickly after that. Here's a moringa, which is at the base of a additional papaya. The papaya is really a staple vegetable, the green papaya in uh, Thai cooking. This is another papaya. And then some lemongrass, another rare lime here. Here's more moringa. And another papaya. Around the corner here is another little lime. Again, and it's cooking lime, see the leaves. And this is avocado. This is a vegetable she told me about, some sort of a leguminous tree. And she told me it smells like a baby's diaper, which is true, but they use it for seasoning and cooking. It's got little thorns on the back of the leaves. It's kind of strange. Little itty bitty thorns that catch your fingers. It's really pretty. I'll bet you it fixes nitrogen too. There's another little fruit tree. Looks like a lychee. This is a beautiful avocado right here. And then underneath it is a jackfruit. See that beautiful trunk on that jackfruit? Marvelous. There's another coconut palm and katuk back here in the shade. And this is another place where she gets a lot of vegetables from. These are giant bamboo. She told me she got 18 big bamboo shoots off of this this year and it was enough to pack her freezer with lots and lots of bamboo. You catch the shoots when they're young and you peel them before they start to harden up and it's a very good vegetable that takes any kind of seasoning you want to throw at it. Those are some epic bamboo here. And here's a lychee. And I want you to see on the other side of this lychee here, look at this. That is a loofah, but this is a variety of loofah that was bred specifically for cooking not for sponges and she told me it's sweeter has less bitterness and it has a very soft skin so you can harvest it larger than you can with the loofah sponge type i thought that was pretty cool because i've only ever grown the loofah sponge type in the angle gourds and uh, this one was really a better vegetable they, they are a very nice vegetable when you cook them particularly in stir fries this is another vegetable i'm not familiar with and here is the Ivy gourd or perennial cucumber, which is a really nice tasting cucumber. This is butterfly pea, which she uses the flowers for uh, food coloring. They're very pretty, but they're actually not open at this time of day, as you can see. And then she's got more moringa over here, covered with some sort of cucumber vine. I'm not sure if it's a cucumber or a loofah. And then back around here, She's got coconut mulch going underneath a beautiful mango tree. I hope that gives you a little bit of an idea what you can do in a garden, particularly in South Florida, with a little bit of hard work, and you definitely need some Asian friends. They are really great at gardening, and they've got vegetables that will thrive here.